Welcome to the second part of Business Africa. Capitalize on better internet coverage in Central Africa region, a question on the agenda of the 35th session of the Intergovernmental Committee of Experts under the IGs of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. The Malabo meeting in Equatorial Guinea also called for the creation of a community investment fund to support startups in the sub-region. Bridget Ugwe and Eric Oteng with more. Eric Oteng. In the Central African sub-region, digitalization has become essential to diversify an economy dependent on raw materials exported without added value. Major challenges remain. Most of them relate to improving internet penetration, which is stagnating at only 12 percent, and to the construction of connected infrastructure in urban and rural areas. These challenges came up for discussion during the 35th session of the Intergovernmental Committee of Experts in Equatorial Guinea. Already, the sub-region is connected with the rest of the world through fiber optics. Networks within countries are also needed. We need to create databases on what is happening elsewhere and what can inspire us in the sub-region. Experts also suggested the creation of a sub-regional digital technology hub. Countries are at different levels of progress, but it is clear that all countries have already embraced this. We must move with the times and learn from each other. We must also work on high-level education, science, technology, mathematics, engineering, ETC, to enable our young people to code so that they no longer remain digital consumers, but also become digital producers. Since Malabo, the message has been very clear that digital economy is a reality that is beginning to take shape on the continent. The resumption of production from several key oil fields in southern Sudan and unprecedented cooperation with neighboring Sudan suggests an improvement in investment conditions in the energy sector. New international partnerships and investments have been signed with Juba, which aims to triple its oil production by the end of 2019. In a few weeks' time, the country will host the third Congress on Energy and Oil. More details with Erika Josia Market and Michael Dibi. South Sudanese capital Juba is preparing to host the third edition of the South Sudan Oil and Power 2019 Congress and Exhibition. The event is aimed at attracting investment to address the energy and infrastructure challenges facing the young nation. From October 29 to 30, African oil and energy captains will discuss strategies to improve the renewable energy sector, the future of exploration and production, and the leading role of national oil companies in development. A reality. Country's petroleum and mining ministers say the oil and power conference is also coming at a very important time. This is a very, very important occasion for South Sudan because it comes at a time when the country is at peace and also the Ministry of Petroleum is working hard to make sure that we advance the uh, reform agenda for us to create conducive environment for investors. South Sudan's economy is 90 percent dependent on oil resources and after five years of conflict the young nation is gradually reviving its oil activities and plans to triple its oil production from the current 350,000 barrels per day to 1 million barrels per day by the end of 2019. This is where this issue of Business Africa ends. Thank you for watching. You can follow us on our pages at Africa News and at Africa News FR for French. Do enjoy the rest of your viewing. Goodbye. Au revoir.